In this video, I'll demonstrate how to use follow actions to create glitch effects and percussion patterns. I'm going to skip a lot of the basics of what follow actions are and how to use them, since I covered that in my video called Ableton Live Tutorial Using Follow Actions and Live Editing Tip Create Multiple Variations. I'll put the links to the other two relevant videos in the description of this video in case you need to check them out. If any of the terminology is unclear as I go through this, just watch those videos first, and you'll be in a better position to really use this trick to its full potential. Okay, so first I've prepared a track by loading lots of little glitchy sounds and drum hits into Session View. You can use anything really, so get creative with it. Then what I've done is gone to each clip and set the follow actions so that the clips will continuously trigger each other, but at different intervals. Some are set to play for a sixteenth note, some for a full measure, some for a quarter note. I just decide as I go through and audition each sound how long I want it to play for. Also, all but one of the follow actions is set to occur every time, and then move to another clip when it's done playing. For one of these clips, I had it repeat itself every once in a while, then move on using follow action B. These settings are where you can get really creative with the way that the sounds sequence themselves, so make sure you take the time to explore the follow action A and follow action B menus. So since I've done the time-consuming part of setting all the follow actions, when I trigger a clip, it will begin the chain reaction. The solid green arrows indicate which clip is playing, and the blinking green arrows indicate which is next to play. Check it out. Let's hear what that sounds like with the drum beat behind it. This is a dubstep style break from the KJ Sokka Hospital Records sample collection. Now let's record a random sequence here by bringing our playhead to the beginning arming to record, and triggering a clip. Notice now that the sequence is being recorded as it plays. I like to just let it play for a while and then go back and listen for cool parts. This is a great trick for when you're feeling uninspired or kind of stuck. Programming your live set to a certain extent and then allowing for some random occurrences is a great way of generating cool writing ideas. Alright, so now that the sequence is recorded, let's make it one continuous clip. Highlight all the clips, control click, and choose Consolidate. That will turn all these little bits into one take. This makes editing the parts we choose much easier. Now I'll go through off camera and choose some parts that I like and rearrange them a bit. I'm just going to be cutting and moving from this big take that we just consolidated. Okay, so here's what I came up with. I also dragged the break over into arrangement view for our editing purposes. That sounds pretty cool, but let's make room for the glitch effects by automating the volume of the break. Double click on the break itself so that the clip editor displays, and let's drop the volume of the break down to zero at certain points so it gives the whole thing a choppier feel when the glitch effects are playing over it. Make sure your envelopes menu is open, you select volume automation, hit command B for the draw tool, and control click on the grid to set your quantize resolution. I'm going to choose 16th notes. Now we'll bring the volume to zero at certain points. Let's take out some of the hi-hat and cymbal work first, preserving the kick and snare.
There, now we have a pretty cool pattern that stands out from the break, and it sits nicely within the volume automated sections. If we want, we can go in and automate the volume of the glitch as well, so that those parts don't step on the kick and the snare, and allow them to really break through. Let's try that. So there you have it. This was a pretty simple demonstration of what you can do with follow actions, and the real power lies in your experimentation, so get crazy with it and try stuff out. Thanks a lot for watching, and stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and tutorials.